when we pitched it to the studio, I said it should feel like the sequel to a movie that you'd never seen or that was never made. It should be a couple that we've already recognized as a couple. And so it was always George and Julia. Literally in the first draft, the two characters were called Julius and Georgia because it seemed naff to actually call them George and Julia, so we just flipped their names. And actually her name in the movie is still Georgia Cotton, uh, which is a hangover from that. But um, yeah, that's the extent to which it was written for them. And then I sent, when we'd done it, I sent them both the thing, and you should never talk about the other actor in case you don't get the other actor, do you know what I mean? But I wrote to each of them going, this is for you and the other one, because it was just very clear to me that it, you know, it barely existed if it wasn't them. I couldn't, I had no plan B, basically, and thankfully they said yes. These are desperate times and uh, ghastly times in so many ways. They were when I was writing it, they are now. And so anything you can do to lighten people's load. And also, for me, it was about going back to the cinema as well. No one was going to the cinema, obviously, and now they're starting to come back. And to do that, you've either, you can give them spectacle, you can be Top Gun and that's amazing, and you know, give them big thrills. Uh, but there's something about laughter in a large room, do you know what I mean, with lots of other people, that's just a tremendously satisfying thing to engage in and hopefully to create in my case. And so um, the thrill, I mean, at the first preview for this, the thrill of sitting with 500 people listening to them all laugh together and it had been a while since any of us had had that or done that uh, and it's just a joyous thing really happy it's not just the pictures it's got to feel right and feel authentic and so it took a lot of research a lot of thought a lot of planning um, and again a lot of consultancy we had a lot of people working with us and we worked really closely with the Balinese and we had Balinese members on our crew or Indonesian crew and um, yeah and you just listen a lot listen and respect and in the end, everything's, you know, drama is secondary to getting it right. You go, what would be really brilliant is if this happened, and if they went, yeah, but it doesn't, then you're like, okay, cool. <laughs> well, then what does? And we'll find a way to make that work. And so um, it's just respect, I think, and um, humility, hopefully. Uh, and then, but it's been really nice showing it to Balinese and Indonesian people, and getting a thumbs up is, a, you know, intensely satisfying, because to misrepresent. Uh, would be uh, desperately sad making. So it's been, yeah, we've been really lucky. These things authenticate themselves, again, like happiness on a set. You know, if you're somewhere beautiful, it just lifts the spirit and lifts the soul, do you know what I mean? And so you try and, obviously there's a degree of, you know, fakeness and cheating and whatever, and there's, you know, film crews around you, but if you're somewhere gorgeous and lovely and living on an island and spending the evenings all having dinner together, if you go into the restaurant and almost everyone there is working with you and hopefully your friend, then what could be nicer? It's just like a, you know, six week party with work in between, obviously. There's a line from somewhere which is, uh, the opposite to love isn't, uh, hate, it's indifference. And so, and that's what George and Julia's characters, David and Georgia, that's what they never have. They're always at each other. Their energy of their dislike for each other obviously can then transmute comfortably. It's still passion, do you know what I mean? And so, um, whereas when passion dies, then that's when you really don't love someone anymore. And so that was the fun stuff for them, is writing them, you know, the energy and the playfulness. And in the end, they're the only two people that get each other. And much as Lucas's character may admire and adore, Julia's character, in the end, she wants to be with someone that challenges her. You want to be with someone that makes you your best self. And uh, clearly, George and Julia are their best selves around each other. And uh, similarly, Caitlin and Max, you know, anyone that turns you into the best version of yourself that you can be, uh, glom onto that person and hang in there with them.